All right, guys, it's Thursday already. We've got a nice little couplet for you today. All right, we're running again. All right, uh, if you don't want to run, you can row or bike. Um, but yeah, we're getting some model structural work in again today, along with some weightlifting, guys. It's going to be a lot of fun. All right, so it is called To The Max. All right, so our full equipment or low equipment option, um, if you have a barbell or dumbbells, or rower or bike, um, this is your option here. So we're gonna do four rounds, all right? So in three minutes, so in a three minute window, you're gonna run 400 meters or row 500 meters for the guys, 400 meters for the ladies, or bike 40 cows for the guys, 30 cows for the ladies, and then in the remaining time, so if it takes you two minutes, say, to run that 400 meters, you've got a minute to do as many clean and jerks as you can in that remaining minute, all right? So you're gonna work for three minutes, then we're gonna rest for three minutes, all right? And we're gonna do that four times. Your score for this workout is your total number of clean and jerks, all right? So, really simple, fun, effective wad today. All right, guys, our barbell weights for the males, um, somewhere from 95 to 135 on the barbell. Females, 65 to 95 on the barbell. Now, if you're going to use dumbbells, guys, we're going to have a pair of dumbbells uh, for the males, 35s to 50s, and females, 20s to 35s on those dumbbells, okay? And you can scale below, in between, you can go heavier if you choose, all right? All right, guys, now, our no equipment option. This assumes a backpack, guys. You're going to use a backpack, and it assumes a backpack that's weighted between 30 to 50 pounds for the guys and 20 to 40 pounds for the ladies. It's gonna be a little bit lighter than we would be if we have a dumbbell or a barbell, but we're just gonna move super fast. We're gonna get a lot of um, metabolic work in today and speed work, okay? So it's the same deal, guys. Four rounds in three minutes. You're gonna run 400 meters, and then you're gonna do max clean and jerks with that backpack that you can in the remaining time. Same deal, if it takes you two minutes to run that 400 meters, you're gonna get one minute to do as many clean and jerks as you can with that backpack. All right, then you're gonna rest three minutes and we're gonna do it again, okay guys? This is a fast moving sprint type of workout, okay, for these rounds. We wanna push the pace on the 400s so that we can maximize the time that we have to do clean and jerks, okay? So really pushing the pace on the 400s and then getting in here and getting good, efficient reps for as, as long as possible and as many reps as possible. Okay, guys? So that is our mode four to the max. I'm going to back you up. I'm going to go over the, uh, the clean and jerks with the three different implements that we can use today, and then you guys can have it. All right. So on the floor there, guys, we've got our backpack our barbell and our dumbbells, okay? Now, these are all gonna look very much the same. They're all gonna have the same points of performance, right? Hinge hip, good flat back position, head and chest up, lats engaged, all right? Knuckles down, elbows out, all that good stuff. Chest hips and bar, chest hips and dumbbell, chest hips and backpack, all raising at the same rate as we come off the floor, right? Scooping those knees under, jumping through that clean, shrug, pull, elbows high and outside, and then receiving in that front rack position. All right, and that's the same no matter whether we're using a barbell, dumbbells, or a backpack, or a sandbag, okay? All right, so uh, the stance for the barbell, for the dumbbells, uh, that hip width stance, right? That jump up and down three times where our feet land, that's where we should be, right? As we address the barbell. For the Barbell, we want to be slightly wider than thumbs width outside the hips, right? I actually like a thumb and a knuckle outside the knurling. So if you were to, if I'm on the barbell, if you were to line your thumb up where it goes from smooth to rough, and then bend it to a 90, that's where your knuckle would have been, and then press out from there, that little bit wider, that little bit wider grip on that clean. And then we definitely want to be using a hook grip. So thumb wraps that bar first, pointer finger, middle finger, little piece of your pointer finger, anything you can get over the top of that thumb, guys, that's what we want to get, and it creates a good clamp onto that barbell, and it really will save your grip and help your pull off the floor. Now, from there, guys, hip width stance, pushing those hips back, good flat back position, 
Barbells tight to the shins, head and chest up, lats engaged, knuckles down. From there, we're going to pull off the floor, scoop those knees under, jump, truck, pull, catch. Elbows around and in front, here, right? That's our power clean. Now, for the jerk, we're going to get set, and then from here, dip those hips, drive, catch, pressing underneath that bar, and standing up, right? So I like to always think jumping into a squat, right? So dip, drive, jump into that squat. All right? So full movement, guys, from here. All right, as you cycle, hit the thighs here, tap that bar, come right back up, all right, and over, head. Finishing over the crown of the head, biceps covering the ears. Now a little bit faster, if you can handle it, or if you can handle that weight, is to get the elbows over the top of the bar on the way down. So over the top of the bar and right to the floor. Okay? Be sure if you're going to do that that you can keep good positions in your back, guys, in that lower back. Alright? Now, moving from there to the dumbbells. Same movement. Okay? Same deal. We're going to tap those front bells, let them hang forward a little bit. Here, up, catch, press overhead. Same thing, you can come back to the shoulders here and down, or get those elbows over the top and touch. Okay? All right, that's with our dumbbells. Now, with our backpack or our sandbag, a little bit different movement. We're going to be on a wider stance, all right? With this, you're going to want to grab the straps at each end, all right? So then from there, we're going to pull off the floor. We're still going to shrug and pull, but now we're going to punch under that sandbag or backpack and receive it just like the front squats yesterday on that bicep area, right? So we're going to be here, punch under, and then up and overhead. Okay, guys? All right. So, running, rowing, biking, cleaning jerks, all of it's going to spike your heart rate, guys. So, think about what you want to get out of the workout. If you want to work on barbell cycling, maybe go a little bit lighter on the barbell and try to hang on for as long as you can. If you want to work on strength, go a little bit heavier and try to do fast singles, right? Clean, up overhead, drop it cycle, all right? With the dumbbells, you don't have that luxury to drop it. Um, you've got to just kind of hang on and go. It's going to be very metabolically taxing, guys. You're going to raise that, excuse me, raise that heart rate, get you breathing heavy, but that's the point. We want to sprint through those runs. We want to get as many clean jerks as we can. All right, guys, get after this one. Have fun with it. I can't wait to do this one. I've been looking forward to it all week. Um, I hope to see you guys posting some scores. I'll throw mine up there, guys, so you can compare. I'm sure you guys are way fitter than I am right now. Um, so you guys have been crushing this quarantine fitness. So crush this one today, guys. Have fun. God bless. And we'll see you tomorrow, guys.